Good morning, folks. Okay, so today's the big day. Um, I leave Patong. Now, I've already moved um, all my stuff, most of my stuff, to Jomtien near Pattaya. And, um, yeah, but I flew back down yesterday and um, to get my bike and the rest of my stuff. And today, I'm going to ride back. It's a thousand k ride on my scooter. So, I've just got to meet the real estate lady here. Um, this has been my home for the last five months. It's been pretty good. Um, I've enjoyed it in Patong. I've actually been in Patong for eight months, but I've lived here for, for five months, so it's a good little condo. You see it's got a nice little garden out the front, a little sitting area. It's only a little studio place, so it's got a bed in the... A bit hard to sort of catch it all here. But I'm all packed, off, so I've got a backpack with a, a computer and some um, stuff and a couple of panniers and my helmet and... Yeah, that's about it. I'm just about ready to go, just waiting for the real estate people. Hey guys, okay, so it's 10.30 in the morning, bikes packed and loaded. Now it's the time to start riding. I don't know how far we'll get today, but um, yeah, she's all loaded up, so. And here, so I've got my umbrella cable tied. There she's. Ready to rock and roll. I just gotta get some fuel and some sunscreen, um, and we'll be on our way. On my way! According to my phone, I've only got 16 hours and 39 minutes to go and 980 kilometers. Okay, so I'm in the middle of a, I've done about 20 k's and I'm in the middle of a roundabout because people in Thailand don't know how to use roundabouts. So, you hear everybody around the outside go speeding through and the people in the middle of the roundabout stop. So, I'm just going to go with the flow. With everything in Thailand, because that's just the way it is. Anyway, other than that, I've been so okay. Feel a little bit lethargic. Running heaps of water. Um, I don't know how many Ks I'll be good for today. But I'm, I'm okay. Like, I'm not doing it harder anymore. Yeah. Yeah, big scoot's going well, so... Everything should be good. Okay, so I'm only 30 k's into the trip. <clears throat> I'm feeling flat as a tack. Um, I don't think I'd be able to do this if I was on a normal bike. It's just I'm just too feeling too drained. But um, but I'm okay. Um, yeah, the thing that I sort of really enjoy about this is um, there's just so much to look at in Thailand. So as I just ride along, I just take in the scenery and I'll just take my time. If I need a break, I'll have a break and um, yeah, just go from there. I'm stuck in the park in. Okay, this is like a checkpoint to get out of two cat. Sometimes there's people here that stop me, sometimes there's not. So we're up. Now it's just out of Phuket on the coast. It's been a really nice little breeze, so it's really, really nice at the moment. Take it up while you can.
150k, 150k is done. First stop, lunch. Um, spotted at 7 Eleven, it's time to get off the bike and have a bit of a break. Feeling a bit flat. So, I have no idea where I am. People are looking at me funny because I'm talking to the camera. A big water. I've got heaps of water in my thing, but it's cold. I just wanted one. Something for a bit of energy. Red Bull. Which I don't usually drink those things. But as I'm pretty how you going from the COVID. And a, a pork, 7 Eleven pork burger, pork and bacon. I've had one of them before, they're pretty good actually. I'm um, good as any of the fast food joints. 62 baht, so about $2.40 for all that. So yeah, um, pretty good. Just gonna stop for 15 minutes, have a stretch, and keep going. Okay, so about half an hour ago, I stopped at some water, a Red Bull, and a and it's really given me a lift. I feel much better. Um, we're going for a bit of a road work area at the moment. Uh, the mountains and that around it are absolutely beautiful. We might be riding into some mountain roads. It's really nice ahead, so yeah, it's a lot like a way to Okay guys, it's 3 o'clock and um, done about 350 k's. Um, had a decent stretch of road, but you can only go so fast around here. So, um, yeah, I'll ride for a couple more hours, then I'll try and find a hotel. Have a beer. So far it's been okay. Yeah, so um, I think the next place, next province is Champon. Um, I don't know what the relevance of that place is. I think there's a major attraction there. I'll work it out by the time I get there, I think. No, all good. I think I just come across my first Thai speed camera. It's a guy in a black uniform sitting under a tree with a, um, yeah, some sort of speed camera device. Yeah, all in black, so I've never seen one before. So I've slowed down, but I'm expecting to get pulled over. I lost the meeting. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, so far I haven't been pulled over by the cops, speeding, but I just hit a dirty great big pothole. And I wouldn't be surprised if I got a cracked rim or a bent rim or something. But um, yeah, road works again, and I can see it's going on for miles. We might be lucky to get up the side, I don't know. Let's see how we go. It's been a big accident, there's two ambulances, so nothing coming. So, 
Okay, so I've done about 400 k's, and uh, I'm feeling fine. The bike's good, even though it's probably got a dent and rev from the giant bottle. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the bike's going good. I'm comfortable and all that, but I am getting thirsty. So I'm going to have to stop and have a bit of a break soon. Okay, yeah, so, so I'll stop and have a break soon and um, have a stretch of that. And then see if I can find a hotel and um, yeah, sort of get the night sorted. Anyway, so I'm chomping on the Snickers. These big servos, they got a lot of these. This one's got ATMs. It's got a Thai food place there. And, and these five star chicken places are all over the place. I'll have to try it, looks pretty good actually. Sorry, my voice is shit because I've just getting over COVID again. And you got 7 Eleven. And then you got a handbag shop. A lady selling lottery tickets. Okay, so I bought a big Snickers. Um, these black currant gel things, they're really good. And uh, big water. Cost me 47 baht, which is um, a bit under two dollars. So a lot cheaper than Australia. Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold, so selfless to all. And while I get Okay guys, yeah, it's been a big day. Um, yeah, I rode a long way today. Um, it's seven o'clock now and I've just rocked up at um, Wahin, or Huhin, or whatever you want to call it. And um, I found this place, it's called Happy Smile Inn or something. And it's, uh, what it cost? 800 baht for the night to stay. It's about 36 Australian dollars. Um, it's just an old hotel, but it's clean and tidy. It's got a big bed, balcony, but apparently the best thing about this hotel, it's on um, the street called Soy 94, which is supposed to be probably one of the best streets in Wahin to have a bit of fun. So I'm going to jump in the shower, then I'm going to go get a massage and have a feed, and then I'm going to have a couple of beers at one of the bars. So, and I'm not taking the camera with me, I'm going to have a bit of a sleep in tomorrow, and um, I've done nearly 700 k's today, so... The rest of the trip's not that big, so 
Although I am expecting it to be a bit painful with traffic and that through Bangkok if that's the way I have to go. But um, yeah, anyway, it's all good. It's good I made it okay and I made it okay. So um, time to have a bit of a rest and relax and a couple of beers.